two members of the Senate have denied allegations of benefiting from contracts of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. The Senate Committee Chairman on Niger Delta, Peter Wonwoshi, and his colleague from the Delta South District, Senator James Manager, denied the allegations on Monday in separate statements. This followed claims by the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Godzilla Pabio, that 60% of the NDDC contracts were awarded to members of the National Assembly. In his reaction, Wonwoshi, who was allegedly named in the said publication of being awarded 53 NDDC contracts, challenged Akpabio to send the list to the anti-graft and other security agencies if he could prove the allegation. He described the claim as unsubstantiated and accused the minister of having an agenda to continuously blackmail him, while manager maintained that he does not know of any company owned by him that has ever gone into bidding of government jobs anywhere in the world. He also challenged his accusers to provide a detailed description of the contract names of the companies and beneficiaries of the payments. Joining us live is Ezekiel Yanetok, a public affairs analyst. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thanks for having me. Good to be with you. You're welcome. What's your take on the back and forth between Akpabio and the senators? Um, the very first thing is that... Um, we unfortunately live in a system where we we play the ostrich we know the facts we know the truth we know the details where we pre pretend that we don't know i think that for for once the, the national assembly members should just give us that benefit that we are intelligent people we all know that the level of pressure that they mount on every parasitical and agency is almost inhuman. We know that, but we understand why it has to be so, unfortunately, because members of the National Assembly pay through their nose, they mortgage their future literally to get into the National Assembly. And once they get in there, they either have to recoup what they had spent or they have to prepare for the next election because elections are extremely um, uh, expensive. Yes. So what do they do? They, they are not so <laughs> stupid as to now present their papers and then say, award me this contract. They get this contract. What, what was the problem between the, the Minister of State for, for, for um, trade, not, not trade, um, um, distinguished, uh, not distinguished, um, San, um, about the 774,000 jobs? It was that the percentage that they asked for was not enough. Yeah. Now, symbolically, the issue is this. They go through their cronies. And I want what to be done is this. It's very simple and straightforward. Let the forensic audit be done. Yeah. We, 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 we Let us get... Yes. Yeah, hopefully we'll get into um, what would be done. But um, there's people who believe that this, you know, that nothing seems to have changed because it doesn't seem like this is the first time that we're hearing uh, stuff like this. In 2015, I believe the current NAVDAG boss had accused senators of demanding bribe. So it doesn't seem like much has changed between then and, and now. Right the from the time of El Rufai. Remember, El Rufai refused. He said openly he didn't want to pay anybody to be cleared. You know, way back with the time of uh, Alaja Tiku Abubakar yeah. as the vice president, it goes way back. Now, I understand, I feel their pains because elections are actually too expensive for these people. So what they do is use cronies. I've said this before and I say it. My brother, if, 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 if you were the, the head of an agency and I was a senator, all I need to do is say, I'm sending Udofia to you, please, he's my guy. That's all I need. Udofia brings set of documents that will never be traced to me. But let me tell you why I said the audit should be done. When these people that have been named and the payments have been made, let us use the BVN to cross-check all the accounts of these people within that period. And you realize that there are certain lodgments in those accounts. Thank God for BVN where you will have to come and explain, sir, 
how did you get these monies yeah. into your account? Okay, let, so no, let no, the no. forensic audit be yeah. done. Let's go back to uh, the minister, um, uh, Gotsulak Pabio. If the senators collected contracts, yeah. does this in any way exonerate him or you know absolve the minister from being investigated? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Let me tell you the tragedy of a nation that we are in. Number one is that the politicians understand us like the back of their palms. They read us so well. But we don't understand politicians. There are two issues. And why they are running concurrently is the best political maneuver you can imagine. Issue number one is forensic audit. Issue number two is the interim government, you know, checking them. There are two different issues. But they try to make us look like they are the same. No, they are not two different, two separate issues. But the two of them needed to come at the same time to cause a lot of distraction, to let this one know, look, I know what you're doing, the other one. So that at the end of the day, they go for family settlement. But please, for goodness sake, if Mr. President, I've said this time without number, if Mr. President will do us one favor, I'll say that let the forensic audit get to a logical completion. Let the National Assembly also do their own. These are two separate things. They are not one and the same. At the end of the day, if the interim government and management of NDDC has been corrupt or they have betrayed the essence of the appointment, they yeah. should pay for it. Okay. If Minister Akpabio is for culpable, unfortunately, you do the crime, you do the time. That's what it says. He's my brother, but it's point in time. I want to believe that he is clean, like he says, but if unfortunately he's not clean, brother, <laughs> at this point in time, it's not about individuals. It's not yeah. about Senate president. It's not about Speaker of the House. It's not about Chairman of Committee. It's about the corporate destiny of a people of the Niger Delta. Now so I, I, we don't I want, want you to, to listen to anything about, uh, it seems, we don't want to hear anything about, yeah. you know, we'll settle it somehow. Now, now I want you to quickly speak on something that I, I feel a lot of people are not, not very clear on. What is the real implication of senators receiving contracts? Is it in any way illegal? Um, can they, as maybe private citizens have their own um, 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 construction companies, I, I, I guess, um, and receive contracts on the side. Is it illegal in any way? No, 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 no. It, 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 it's against the ethics. It, it, it's a conflict of interest because these are bodies that you oversight. And because you oversight them, you cannot be a contractor. So it's complete conflict of interest. But they, still, they give us the fact that, you know, these are our constituencies, we are attracting projects to our constituencies, and because of that, we have a right to do that. Now, that's a very logical argument, but we know the truth. We know the truth. That is why they have scouts in each of the agencies. They have cronies. They have people who are there. They bring the, they get the jobs. They monitor the payments. They put pressure on these people to make them sure they are paid. And because of that conflict of interest, there's always a situation where they, why has the NDDC been the way it's been over the years? Why? I think the lawmakers who have been doing oversighting and they are paid, you know, the three basic functions of the lawmakers, lawmaking, uh, that's law legislation, there's oversight, and there is um, the third one, I, I can't remember right now, but oversight is what representation yes lawmaking oversight and representation now you cannot oversight effectively as one of your three major cardinal objectives if you have jobs being done there because there's okay. only compromises it's a conflict of interest they can't and the moment you stop that and it is stopped you realize that people are no longer interested in going to the senate i'm telling you this okay. the moment anybody can go to court and we will know how to track and trace this. Thing. I'm telling you. And All if right. we need to go to court and let the court pronounce that any senator and whatever punishment will come, the moment that is done, because fixing names for employment, getting um, jobs and collecting favors are the things. Look at every senator. It's true they get humongous amount of money, but the money they get from the National Assembly is infinitesimal. 
compared to the monies that they make from contracts. Imagine the person who is oversighting NNPC. Yeah. Go find right. that person's account. Get his BVN. And then you see that the money would, he makes from the Senate here, sir. Is, is like... Yeah, I, I, I understand. It's, it's, a, it's a conversation that brings a lot of emotions. Uh, because, of course, we're still, you know, st seeking uh, truth with regards to the fight against corruption. But thank you very much for joining us and uh, for having this conversation with us. We'll look forward to, to continuing with it.